guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a faux face of Fenty um, and the only thing that's not Fenty in this video is going to be my eyeshadows so I have a couple different palettes that I want to use for my eyeshadows but as far as my base goes I'm gonna be using all Fenty I just figured let's just use a lot of my Fenty stuff because I feel like I use a lot of drugstore too I try to like make it like a combination so that's what we're going to be doing today, and let's get right into the video. So I already did my brows, and actually, I think I'm going to save this for another video, but since my last video, if you didn't watch it, I did tell you guys that I had ran out of my eyebrow pencil, so what I used to do back in the day was use eyeshadow. That's what I did to my brows, and I feel like it came out really good, and that might be a video idea. If you like that, let me know what you guys think down below. So I'm going to start off by concealing my eyes. I'm going in with my Huda Beauty concealer. I don't have an eyeshadow primer. I've never really used those. I've always used concealer to, you know, conceal my eyes. Um, but this has always worked best for me personally. And I've been doing it for a long time. The only eyeshadow primer I've ever used, and I think my mom had gotten it out of her like Ipsy bag or something, it was by Urban Decay. And it like worked the same way. It did the same thing that a concealer would do. So I just found that this works best for me and it saves you a lot of money because you don't have to go out and buy eyeshadow primer and concealer when concealer could just do the same thing and you're saving money. And this concealer is in the shade sugar biscuit now it's a little too dark for my under eyes so that's exactly why i use it for my eyelids i'm just setting my eyes and then we'll get right into the eyeshadow and i'm really firm when it comes to setting my eyelids only because i really don't like the creasing that happens over here that it has happened in the past and so I don't go like too heavy, but I don't go too light either. Because um, I hate when it creases. That's just the most cringy thing ever. So like I said, I have three palettes that I want to use for today's video. And I think I'm going to start with the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. And I'm going to be starting off with this shade Antique Bronze, which is this color. You guys can see right here. And I'm going to use this as my eyelid color so this is just to have the base color here all right so starting out with my transition color I'm gonna be going in with Buon Fresco that's how you pronounce it oh right here I was messing around with my lighting so hopefully you guys have a good view BTW um, these pimples on my face um, is 100% my fault I actually scratched this one really badly and it started bleeding and Johnny comes in the room he's like what happened to your face yeah I'm like what happened to my face I'm like oh my god I forgot I was bleeding like just a whole ish show like it was not cute I totally forgot <laughs> I scratched my face I am a pimple popper I know it's not good for your skin but I did say I was gonna be honest on this channel right so I put my pimples and it's a problem I just want to make my eyes just a tiny bit more smokier so I'm gonna go into my Amrezy palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade View uh View Go. Hugo, which is this really dark kind of purpley shade in the palette. Making sure I'm staying in the same corner for both of my eyes. That way it doesn't look too 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 smoky because I want it smoky but not insanely smoky if that makes sense I just want to keep that like sexy sultry kind of vibe you know what I'm saying 
I'm just going to head back into my Modern Renaissance palette and go back in with my Antique Bronze shade just so that the lid color doesn't fade. Because I really like how it transfers into the smoky eye. Which is obviously the effect you want to have when you're doing a smoky eye regardless. You know, you don't really want it to be like a whole bunch of colors. You want it to really mix well together. And I know sometimes it's hard to find certain colors to deal with when it comes to the smoky eye. At least it is for me. Um, I didn't think this, whole, this eye look would go well together because they're not... They are in the same family color. Um... But once you're putting it on your eyelid, it's like a whole different ballgame. I feel like that's like my constant struggle when it comes to doing smoky eyes. And that's just for me, personally. But prior to videos, sometimes sometimes I try my best um, not to wing it on camera because not always does it come out how we want it. Um, but that's trial and error, of course. Prior to this video, actually, I tested the colors out before. I'm like, ooh, that looks really good together. Like, let's do it. And here we are doing it. I feel like I look like a raccoon right now. Crazy that out of all of these palettes, the only um, palette that has um, a black shadow is the Amrezy palette. I'm like, yo, I need to have a, a dark black shadow in this palette. That is key for me. Because I don't have any black eyeliner. So if I want to go underneath... That was not safe. If I want to go underneath my water, my upper waterline... I really like to smoke that part out. I feel like it makes your eyes look so much bigger. And especially when you're doing a smoky eye. I feel like I did put you guys onto that. If you don't know already, it's key when I'm doing smoky eyes. And you can take any flat brush. This one is from e.l.f. It's just an e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush. It doesn't have a number or anything. I really love doing this right before I apply my falsies. And I really love doing this if I'm not going to apply liquid liner, which I rarely ever do. Um, it really depends on the look too. But being that this is already a dark um, colored smoky eye look, I don't want to hit it with liner as well. Just because I feel like it's just it'll just like look like too much on the lids. So to keep it looking very, you know, looking like like that grudge type thing but not like too grudge like so i'm gonna be going in with my house of lashes these i have featured on my channel before and these are called natalia lashes are on hopefully they don't look too crazy this one was giving me a headache so now we're just gonna head right on to my base i'm gonna be going with the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch primer and this is soft matte. This is the soft matte one. And this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Now I know you'll think, oh my gosh, she's going in with a hydrating foundation. Girl, ooh, this needs to be mixed. This is what I had as far as Fenty products. I was never able to get my hands on... Um, the newer foundation i mean i'm sorry the newer um primer and i'm gonna be going in with my fenty beauty foundation brush this is in the number 115 best 45 dollars was it 45 dollars it must have been that high of an amount because i remember going in there and i was talking to the sephora ladies and one of them was like oh here try a brand new one like this is a new one and i was like okay like let's try it out so I tried it out, dude, like I'm telling you, I was like, I have never felt such a amazing foundation brush before. Like it just felt amazing on my skin. And the last foundation brush that I was using prior to this was the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. If I even have it, I think I give it to my mother. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those brushes. I forgot. Who, who, who was that with? Morphe? morphe um and that was the last one and then prior to that i had the this little baby all beat up the real techniques everybody started out with this foundation brush and i love that one but this one is so full it's big like girl 
and it just applies your foundation so flawlessly like i'm telling you guys i know there's so many out there that you can buy and i know it's so expensive i have yet to try a foundation brush that's drugstore that works if you have any um recommendations for drug drug if you, um, if you have any recommendations for drugstore foundation brushes i'm sure elf has a good one all right so we are all done with my foundation part go in with i'm gonna be using two concealers i think fenty beauty has a concealer if i'm not mistaken i haven't tried their concealer yet um so i definitely want to try that and just for a little bit more brightness i'm gonna go in with my nars this my nars radiant creamy 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 concealer one is in Cafe Con Leche. Cover FX, I am in N Medium 1. And next I'm going to be setting my face with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. In some of my previous videos, I had already had this powder before. And I had it in like the most yellowish shade for my skin tone. It was the shade Banana. And it was super yellow. I just felt like it was throwing off my whole entire face. Especially since my, obviously my, my foundations aren't like super light. You know, they have some color to them. Um, and having such a yellow base powder, a setting powder, was just not cutting it. So this is more on the translucent translucent side of powders so it could really go for a variety of skin tones surprisingly i'm not going to go in with contour i think for this look i really want to keep it super feminine super cute like super like all glowy and pink whatever <laughs> whatever um we'll see how i like it because if i don't like it we're going to transition but i have two blushes here i have this contour blush combination by Pacifica. Now, in my last video, I had showed you guys this br this blush. It's by Modelco. Never heard of them. Don't know. And it came out really pretty. So I want to try the one by Pacifica. You even able to tell I feel like can you tell I don't know I haven't done like just blush in a really long time I'm just gonna go in with some highlights some very broken highlight now what I really like about the blush both of them actually have a highlight to them so it's a highlight like a glow to them so it was already glowing on my cheeks, but I really like to have my, I really like to have highlight on my upper cheek area. That makes sense. And for my final step, I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss. This is in the color Fussy. Love this color. I'm just going to line my lips a little bit. So I did want to curl my hair for this look, but I feel like it looks really good with my straight hair. Um, so we're not going to do that. But this does complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what else you guys want to see. Um, this was like a really like dark purple. Like some like pink. So it, just, it was just a random. But I love the way it turned out. I love that the smoky eye doesn't look too much in the eyes. Um, but the lashes really... The lashes just do the job. Like without lashes what are you doing like you know what i'm saying <laughs>
like seriously I don't know what I was doing before when I didn't know how to put on apply lashes um, I'm still learning though so once again I hope you guys enjoyed and of course like comment and subscribe and please let me know in the comments down below how you guys enjoyed this video um, I'd love to interact with my subscribers more and definitely let me know any suggestions on videos what you guys want to see from me I have great ideas but I would love to again interact with my subbies and I'll see you guys in my next video